And a big hello to everyone out there. It's been a while. I made it through all the overtime of July for my job. It was hot. It got old pretty quick. <clears throat> so I took a little time for myself to rest up. I actually had to flip over and do a week of working late after a month of working early. So, let's catch up on a few things. This would be about my area. An article about the West Nile virus and how they're saying it's spreading faster than in in years and the pace of it is supposedly getting worse and the states are reporting more cases than normal now for me it's a hot and dry where I'm at it's surprising that a mosquitoes would be a problem because I haven't hardly seen any at all But I guess it takes very few that have this to get somebody sick or get them sick enough to die. Sixteen people have died this summer in Texas out of 381 cases of the illness on track for the worst year ever. 28 deaths nationwide. 32 states have had cases of West Nile. Louisiana 6 and 68 are dead. Oklahoma 1 and 55. Mississippi 1 and 59. Arizona 1 and 7. It's going to get worse, says David Dowsey, professor of public health at Mercyhurst University. Erie PA. He's talking about climate change, warmer winters, milder springs, hotter summers, longer breeding season for the insects, the mosquitoes. Most people infected with it, 70 to 80 percent, never know they even have it. 20 to 30 percent develop the fever, you get a headache, you get the West Nile fever with headaches, fever, joint pains, vomiting, or diarrhea and rash. Less than one of those percent infected with the virus will develop the neuroinvasive disease involving inflammation of the brain, the spinal cord, or the tissue surrounding the brain. About 10 percent will die. People over 50 and those with compromised immune systems are more likely to develop that form. Well, that is not something we really want to hear. We have to pay attention to it because it could be a, a big problem. <clears throat> I'm surprised it's on this small of a scale actually. Thankful and glad though. But Texas has had it bad. And we have some cases of our own. We have a little stuff going on over here. Go to the Middle East. And we made it through our Olympics, didn't we? And I didn't see anything out of the ordinary other than the spectacular display of hidden if you didn't know what it what you were looking at all that symbolism and the characters the way they dress and danced the appropriate song with the appropriate words for the appropriate meaning they were trying to get through. But other than that, there was no terrorist attack. There was no UFO contact. 
We sure had a large armada to protect everyone, though. That was for sure. Let's go into this. They have warned that if they struck nuclear sites in Iran, the Israeli military would spark a month-long 30-day war with missile attacks on Israel's cities, probably about as 500 dead. This is coming from Laton Vilnai, stepping down as the front defense minister to become the ambassador to China. Said the country was ready as never before. The assessments are for a war that will last 30 days on a number of fronts. Could be there'll be less than 10 fatalities. It could be there'll be more. That is the scenario we're preparing for according to the best experts. Speculation is growing. That Israel is planning a unilateral attack on Iran's nuclear program, or that it's using the question to increase pressure on Obama to launch an American strike. Israel is convinced that arch enemy Iran is trying to build nuclear weapons. They don't believe Tehran's claims that its nuclear program is for civilian purposes. Israel considers nuclear-armed Iran to be a mortal danger. Iran backs anti-Israel militants with funds and weapons, and its leaders often call for Israel's destruction. <coughs> Here's the latest pronouncement. The Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei said Israel will disappear from the scene of geography. Okay, the scene of geography. So that means if uh, something's there, then they you look over there where it was, and it's not there anymore. It is something different. Or what was there is completely removed. Addressing war veterans in Tehran, he said, Iran considers it its religious duty to save this Islamic country, Palestine, from the clutches of Zionist occupiers. The Israeli leaders have indicated an attack as a possibility if they conclude the international community has failed to halt the Iranian nuclear program. And we saw Kofi the past lawbreaker, Thieven, resigned recently. He couldn't supposedly get anything done, right? Like he was really supposed to. Mr. Vilnai did not elaborate on how he reached his assessments, but his, and that would be for uh, Syria. Talking about Kofi Annan couldn't get anything done in Syria. So, whenever they talk about an international community, did that failed over there, so why would they think it would work in Iran to halt their program? We didn't elaborate on how he reached his assessments, but his office relies on intelligence and other assessments about weapon capabilities and how vulnerable Israel would be. That would be the Israeli death toll could be in the range of 500 if there were such a conflict. Just as the citizens of Japan have to realize they can have earthquakes, so the citizens of Israel have to realize if they live here, they have to be prepared to expect missiles on the home front. It's not pleasant for the home front, but decisions have to be made. We have to be ready. In Washington on Tuesday at a news briefing, Leon Panetta, the U.S. Defense Secretary, reaffirmed uh, the U.S. assessment that Israel has not yet decided whether to strike, while the U.S. Military Chief General Martin Dempsey echoed a widely held assessment 
that an Israeli operation would only sit back, not destroy Iran's nuclear project. So they're wanting to. You're thinking they're needing to. They know when they got to. And they know when they got to get it done by. How will the U.S. be involved? Uh, probably play backup. Maybe. If they get the okay from China, who is our banker. And if the banker says, no, you cannot play because we will be paying for it, then you will not play. Somebody has to pay for the expensive wars they do. And they're on their way to bankrupting the country, paying for everything that they spend their money on. So I, I would think this is going to happen. What I'm seeing now is, and I'm, let's I'll cover a lot of ground here quick. I'm not seeing anything funny about the 17th or so, about Planet X and the Bureau or anything, anything like that. I just haven't seen it. I know that John Moore talked about this range of time, but uh, I'm just not seeing what I need to see to, to have come on <clears throat> and agreed. Well, it would just be another day tomorrow. But this, I don't believe they're going to do it before the election over here. I think some it could be right around that time, but I think the election will already be held. But I do think before the year is out. I don't think they're going to let it roll to 2013 without doing something. I was thinking probably in June. But we made it out of June. So if they do that, you've already got your Syrian conflict going. You've got all kinds of stuff going over there. You hear tell of Al-Qaeda's over there and then you hear Clinton meaning uh, Hillary mentioning about Al-Qaeda helping the rebels. Well, we're supposed to be helping the rebels too, right? So how can the both of us be on the side of the rebels if we're fighting Al-Qaeda in different places? That was an odd statement. Whenever she was talking about that. And Syria will continue to fight. I still don't believe these rebels, whoever they are, actually, all of them, some of them regular people, not all of them, I just don't see them being able to take the Syrian military. If this continued on its own, with nothing from the outside more than what is seen now, Assad should have no problem putting this down in the end. But whoever's pushing the other side, how hard they're going to get involved. You can't give weapons directly, but you can sell them 
I believe. And through the purchase, then they can be shipped, I believe. But I don't believe you can directly just take planes full of weaponry and give them. So I believe you'll see some purchases. The people caught in the crossfire. They don't have anything to do with what's going on. So they need a lot of prayers from us. When you're stuck in the middle, you don't have very many options. Egypt? Not going so great over there, is it? No. Mr. Mubarak is gone. But things still suck in Egypt. Hooked them there and fooled them. Thinking that that was going to be their spring. All these places. Revolution for the betterment. And there's no betterment from the overturn. Not the betterment the people, the real people, thought that they would get. Well, let's check out and see what is our latest earthquake situation. Go over that. We have had some in the last week. We'll go from the uh, complete bottom up. And this was started on the 10th in the Alaska region, 6.2. 6.4, northwestern Iran on the 11th. That's two days in a row with six. Six point three. Xinjiang, Jizang border region. And then we hop up to the fourteenth. We see the big seven point seven in the Sea of Okhotsk. Coming into the now. You do have a 5-2 in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Papua New Guinea, 5. Kyushu, Japan, a 5. five seven. Southeast of Easter Island. 5-3, Central Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Fiji Region, 5-0. Netherlands, 3.7. So, ever since the 14th with 7.7 .7, things seem to have stabilized as to what they are well let's hope that keeps about where it is and doesn't get any worse anywhere let's hope they don't get any more water Everywhere that's flooded. Let's hope they don't get any more drought. Everywhere that's baked. 
and we'll be seeing our food prices going up before too long if they haven't already started where you're at and you'll be seeing the gas prices go up if they haven't already started where you're at and if there is some stuff in the Middle East this begins to happen well we'll definitely see a rise of a good size in the price of gas so pay attention to the little critters out here if you can this little, little thing like a mosquito can nip you and a little insect like that can take your life that's what it can do to you well let's hope this is contained I heard they were going to do some massive spraying but hopefully they will not mutate into something that can carry the virus hopefully they kill a whole a lot of them it's nice to be back I was thinking about all of you <clears throat> so I have a few more things I'm going to put out here shortly but right now I just wanted to show these get back into everything Some nice stuff to look up and see. Y'all catch the meteor shower. It was pretty bright. I thought it was actually flashes of lightning. I mean, it was really flashed. And I went out, actually went outside and forgot all about. I needed to be outside then. And when I looked up, Boy, I, I don't know if it was a bigger one that flew by or what and did that, but they were certainly able to be seen. So I don't know where you lived at, all of you. Some of you I do. Now I hope he was able to get out and see some of that. There's also been a couple of interesting videos I've looked at. People taking pictures with their cameras and seeing some things near the sun. And then that was an interesting deal to me at uh, Niemeyer Station. I do believe there was a portion of footage removed they had an interesting object in the sky so I did wonder why have I seen the original and then there was another splice job of theirs after that 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 portion was gone so I was going to capture that and bring it to you and there's only been a couple of guys I think that I've seen that's had it, and that's how I found it. So you gotta keep your eyes down south too. Even though they let us look, you would think they wouldn't let us look at anything important. But every now and then, it just don't seem like they can keep their cells from letting some little thing pop out. Sometimes it stays, sometimes it's gone immediately. This time it was gone immediately. So I keep checking their cams too. <clears throat> if I get it at the right time, and there's something good like always, I get it for us. Till then, I'll let everybody go.
I'll talk to y'all real soon. Nice to be back. God bless.